Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hello, everyone. Basil Chapman here. I'm going to just make this really, really quick. This is the Tiger Financial News Network's 10 a.m. show, which is the opening call. Uh, is my daily newsletter, and here we've got the Tiger Technicians Hour. And let me just go through this very quickly. You see this orange line here, the sine wave move up and down and up and down. This is the Dow. It broke the Chapman wave inside track repellent zone. Went above the 200 orange 200 period moving average. The MACDs improved. The 90s over the 14. The uh, stochastic is nicely up at 89%. On balance volume is the only lagging indicator here. But most importantly, it was a Chapman wave. Uh, a low trend gauge reading yesterday. I use Richard Arms index just for numbers, uh, and that's all. Um, and that said, that no matter where the futures were um, overnight or going into this morning, and the Dow. There should be some kind of a pullback to negative before there's a rally. And now what we're looking at is the Dow went all the way from 34,545 down to uh, 34,355. Missed by three points going negative. I actually, I'm going to call that a win for the uh, for that in in indicator because it's got a fantastic record. I mean, to think that after being up so high that the market would actually pull back to just about unchanged, that's that's impressive. Now it says to me that in the Chapman Wave methodology, the buy signal should be upgraded to a buy mode should go to at least a leg D. That means it has to go above, right here, has to go above the high of three days ago of 34,882.03. It goes to 04, and that starts a new leg D. Can it do that under these conditions? Well, it's going to be a very important by today's Thursday, by Monday, that we're seeing trading up near the 35,000, I think 34,900 to 35,050. That area is going to show a lot of resistance. So I wanted to go through that and say, with a week to go, uh, so much can happen in the last couple of days of any month in the candle. We've just seen that. I remember going back decades, how many times quite often in June. June would be acting terribly, oh, just horrible. And then all of a sudden, the last couple of days, whoosh, this is a massive move to the upside, saves the candle, saves the month, saves everything. So I need to do this. I need to just say very clearly that all the technicals, I'm not talking about the fundamentals, I'm not talking about geopolitics, I'm not talking about any of the fact that the dollar is going to be under tremendous pressure at some point with all the different countries now uh, at, uh, wanting to use their own currencies, etc. Just forget about that. All I'm saying is that technically, this is not such a great move, although it's a fantastic move when you just think of the speed up, up over 2,000 points in such a short period. Um, not the point. The point is that this particular pattern in a buy mode in the Chapman wave suggests that you need speed. I can't see a sideways move helping. It needs to have speed. And that would say by early next week, there has to be a trade that is starting to tackle this whole cluster area that took you to 35,047, 35,042 back in mid, uh, mid February. And it's going to be really important for this cup formation. All right, I want you to do that now. We're just going to run these. There's so many questions that came in, and I do want to get to them today. Peak C in the, in the S and P. It needs to get above that uh, high that was made at 45.22. 45.22 round number high on the 22nd. 45.22.01 starts a leg D. We're, we're, we're quite close to it, but close is not good enough. I want to see it. And then I want to see a move that extends leg D. Because the technicals, 92% in the stochastic, I love that. That is really important. All right, we're going to go to the QQQ, 1, 2, 3, NDX 100. That's stalling. It's had just a single leg A from the double bottom that missed. It took out the left side low of 318.26 from the 24th of Feb. It took it out and went below to 13.745. That was around about the 14th of, yeah, 14th of March. And there was a fabulous move to the upside, but it's so far a single leg A 
The MACD is good. Stochastic's fabulous at 93%. Nine period exponential moving average over the 14. Love that. And uh, on balance volume is just stalled out. I, I, I don't like that. That to me is, I like to see them all moving in concert. They're not. There's a discord there. So we're looking at this leg A that became a, oops, uh, 357 85 357 uh, 66 so yep it was a peak a and now we're looking nah, that doesn't look right uh 85 it does look right 66 so i i need to see either an extension here uh, but it looks to me like even though there's been a spectacular move off lows in many of these really beaten down nasdaq type stocks um this is still just the opening salvo, and it needs a lot more to be able to continue. This is the talk, and you need momentum to continue the move. So let's see what happens. You need to see above the 360 resistance. You need to see it at 353 right now. By Tuesday of next week, I want to see it at 361.50 or higher. I definitely don't want to see it at 345. Okay, now we're looking at something much more important. We're looking at the TLT. So a question came in, let's hear more statement. If everyone knows that interest rates are going to rise and the Federal Reserve has said six to seven increases, the first has already happened, why wouldn't everyone be in the TBT? Uh, you may or may not address this most uh, uh, important aspect. No, I've discussed it every single day just about. Um, I'm not, why would I even want to avoid it? I spoke about it yesterday. I said, there's a chance. Look. So the TLT, the Lehman 20-year iShare Treasury Bond Fund, it also has uh, 20, 25 and 30 years uh, uh, duration. What we're looking at is made a trough G right in this. Let me just show you the techniques that I use. Chapman Wave Inside Track Propellant Zone, which has worked for ever since the start of that move. You see the pink and green lines here. That's a little narrow channel within the larger channel. And this says that inside track support level has to hold because if it starts to trade, uh, it doesn't even have to trade. It just has to hit 126.50. And it says, wow, you're now treating this as a, a resistance line and not a support line. But look at the TBT, which is the inverse. Made in a peak D doji candle at 21.80 three days ago. And it's kind of stalling, even though the MACD's, at, uh, MACD's strong, the stochastic said 86%. Look, the unbalanced volume isn't really confirming that. So really what's important here, and a lot of people ask me, what about bonds? All I can say is that if you look at the yields, so we'll go to the yield, which will match this very much. The yield went to a leg D, then a peak D, and that yield is the 10-year. Let me just get this out the way here. So this is the 10-year. Made a high yesterday, a little bit down today. It's still up uh, 0.33 and 23.54. That's 2.354. <laughs> I'm just watching this. And my sense is that if there is any pullback, it's going to be a fairly modest pullback, being a little bit overbought technically, although the stochastic and MACD are still fabulous. Um, just appear on a technical basis, you could get a little bit of a sideways move here. But this leg in the monthly, leg C in the monthly, this breakout, this is like a propeller shaft and it says there's a good chance that the 25 area, 2.5 area, could become a target and fairly soon. And here we are at 23.52. So all I can say is we're watching this very closely. I need to put this together with things that are happening around the world. And if you look at the dollar up 23 ticks at 98.85, all within this rectangle formation at the upper end, you can have digestive moves that just go sideways. You could beat. We've just done the same thing. I'll be back in a moment. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. 
educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, so uh, I just want to check here what was said. Uh, thanks Ruby. Market US March manufacturing PMI 58.5 versus 56.3 expected. You see, this is what the Fed is up against. There are some statistics in the economy that come out and they are just completely contrary to what the uh, Fed would like to see because they would prefer to see a little bit lower everything uh, and then say, hey, we have every right now to, um, to at least moderate our thinking about the upcoming anticipated increase in rates and just sort of go quarter point and then say a half point when we need it. But this way, this is this is really a good report uh, under any other circumstances. This is what I've been saying for maybe 10 years now. Well, first of all, when I came to TFNN, I had already for a long time said, at some point, we'll be looking at the Japanization of our bond yields. In other words, we will copy Japan and we will go to almost 0% or 0%. So it was about a year or so ago that I said, you know what? I remember talking to Tommy, Tommy when, uh, Tom O'Brien when I was interviewed one week. Uh, about a year ago, I said, I think this is the first time. That, no, it was more. It was less than a year ago. About it was maybe the, in the fall of last year. I said, you know what? I think this is the first time that I'm going to say something very different. I think we're going to start to look at yields going higher. I think we've changed that format. And now if you look at the yields, and this is despite of what, everything that's going on, look, it broke the left side low of 133.19 in the TLT. We made a low the other day of 120, I forgot to type that in, 128.34. Let me just type it in now. 128.34. Um, and that says, uh, maybe I'll just show this chart right here, and then I have to go to a bunch of things that I want you to do, and I've delayed it just more than I thought I should. So let me just go to this. I'll show you. So it's the 30-year, the 10-year, it's called my weekly triple yield chart that I show my subscribers when I do my uh, market overview uh, video on the weekend, about an hour's worth of uh, chatting away in different areas and what, what positions we have, what we're looking at. So we went to 26.29, 2.629 in the 30-year yield um, 
and we this week we, I think it was yesterday yeah, this week and look what happened I'm calling this a C it could now become an E slash C but mm, I'm just being very strict here and look the uh, nine and the the ten year and the five year uh, th there's a flattening of the yield curve no question look what happened to the wood iShares global and timber, timber and forestry ETF stuck in a trading round the rectangle formation forever oh, it's a, almost a yeah, it's about a year. It's almost a year. And look at the, uh, this is the high HGX. This is the Philadelphia Housing Index. Finally broke that rectangle formation after a small arch and then a huge arch, which basically was a double top. Uh, it was really a triple top. And each one of those in the weekly chart, each one of those right side technical indicators were failing. And here we are. We're, we're below. So a lot's going on. So the Fed is worried, I'm sure, about the housing. They're worried about a bunch of things. Home Depot gets smashed. I mean, this is a Home Depot. Where, you know, people are still doing work on the houses. So what we're looking at here, the, there is such a mixed picture that I think they have to stick to their, to their charter and just have a plan and stick with the plan. Now, what I want you to do is just to show you the yields to what's going on. I want you to show you uh, the dollar, how important it is, when in fact it's holding very, very well, but uh, closed workspace. But if it's going to go, you know, if it's under attack for the next couple of months, uh, you know, Russia wants to be paid in rubles. Uh, we've got China wants uh, to do the yuan. You, you, there are a lot of things going on, yet the dollar is holding well. One of the reasons is because our economy at this point is still one of the strongest. And that is really important. So now I've covered a bunch of things that I wanted to talk about. Some of them are a little residual. Let's go to questions about uh, Caterpillar. Caterpillar, uh, I'm not going to just go, I know exactly the question. So Caterpillar was discussed. There's a left side, right side price time match, not to the low, but to what I call the lopsided cup or a V-shaped pattern. 230.43 was the high on the 18th of January. Plummets down to 180, screams up to where it is now, 223. This is F slash B in the daily chart. Gone a little bit sideways. Fabulous action, but underneath the all-time high, in the 240, what was that? Did I not write that down? Oh, I didn't. I did in the daily, I thought. Uh, go, 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 go. Ah, 246.69. That was back in June uh, of 20, uh, 2021. Uh, June? No, sorry, 2020, I believe. Yeah, so am I right? Am I right? Am I right? June, June, December, January, 20, 2021. So this is really important. Very good action. So it's telling us that industrial, the industrial complex in terms of the Caterpillar heavy-duty equipment is in play. It's under the all-time high, but doing really well. Uh, Deer, Deer is trading very nicely. It's down two today at 429.34. Made an all-time high three days ago. And it's just consolidating, but it has broken out. We've got to watch to see that it doesn't slide under 410, 404 key support levels over the next three to four weeks, because then it goes right back into that rectangle. So if, uh, I should mention that subscribers have deer. We have it uh, over a week and a half ago. It's had a fantastic move. But look at this. If deer is able to get to 445 by a week from today in this candle, this monthly candle of March, I would say that that's really good good action and it's turning the whole area of 415, 420 to 412 into key support. Uh, Vale, V-A-L-E. Vale is iron ore pellets, nickel, um, copper, ferro alloys. It's trading at 20.12, had a fantastic move just in about a week and a half. It went from the low 16s to uh, 21. Did it hit 21 round number? I think it just missed it. 20.96 20, 20 on the seventh we typed that in. Uh, pulls back to 17. That's a big percentage move after such a big move up. Uh, 20 point, I don't know what I said. Did I say? 96. 96. Um, and then rallies and it said 20. So this is in play. In other words, the veil looks to me like it wants to go to the 23 19 area to start leg D or higher over the coming weeks. I'm not talking about days. I'm talking, it could be days. I'm just saying the trend is up. 
the uh, technicals just deteriorated in the daily chart on the short term. They're still not that great, so there's a sideways consolidation. But that weekly chart is suggesting that it is in play, and as long as it holds above 17 over the next week or two, um, and preferably tries for uh, 21.50, it's in play. It looks very good. Vale, V-A-L-E, 20.12 uh, 20 right now, up 12. C-F. This is CF Industries, Holdings, Inc., Hydrogen, Nitrogen, Products for Clean Energy, Fertilizer, Emissions Abatement, Whopping Move Leg, F in the uh, monthly chart, could even be a recycled F slash B. Just i drawn this in. I've shown subscribers how this works. Look at this beautiful cup formation down to the midpoint. Oh, it's, a, it's a double cup. In fact, it's a U turning into a W, and then it broke out to the upside. Absolutely fantastic action. Trading right now at 106.16 CF is the symbol. It's broken to a new high leg F in the daily. And just holding pretty well. I'll be back. There's a lot to discuss. Dow's up 131. S&P's up 14. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, uh, I, I guess I didn't finish the TBT uh, thing. Oh, I, uh, uh, I didn't appreciate you mentioning it, but you didn't answer the question. The question, I, it didn't look like it was a question. It was more a statement, but I'll just say this because it, it, it's a valid statement. You may or may not address this. Most uh, just don't understand this, but I will say that this ETF, this TBT, may not do as advertised, especially in a big down market, because it's all about liquidity. This is going to be the downfall of ETFs in general. Big surprise on the horizon. You know, I don't, 
I don't want to be an alarmist. I can tell you right now, I could give you a list of things that can go wrong. Uh, and, and to me, the most important thing was that we did not keep up that oil and the natural gas and oil, oil production. I mean, we have the cleanest, um, it might not be clean, but it's the cleanest uh, from what I can read uh, around the world just about. Uh, and, we, and we're work, working on um, all the different aspects of generating energy via wind or battery, whatever it is. Um, you've got to do them all and then one's going to predominate, and we should have been in that position. Didn't mean that was a, it was a big error, and I, I don't know. So I can give you a list of things that can go wrong. I can give you a list of why there should be the greatest depression coming up in the world, but that's not the issue. The issue is I can also give you reasons why that markets tend to overlook certain things, and they are look ahead. They look ahead, and they there are other things that we don't see until they become apparent. And I'm trying my best for subscribers to be under the radar, looking at things that are in, at least my eyes, important in, in this particular phase. So all I can say is that the whole area of, of um, fertilizers, of everything you do, I mean, look at wheat. Yeah, it's pulled back sharply from that high, that all-time high, that, well, not all-time, but major high at 1363 uh, and a half, pulls back sharply, and now it's just going sideways. It's still very elevated and what i'd said was that think of the ukrainian farmers they are not just going about their business because they've still got to get their supplies to all the different places so the disruption it, it's not a week's worth of disruption it is weeks and weeks and weeks in fact they might be they might be losing a season and they are one of the i, I read i'm not going to go through it again what ukraine has in terms of uh, the soft and hard products that we all need, now, you know, the grains, the, uh, the just you can go through every sector, uh, stuff I ne never even heard of, aluminum, well, you know, maybe I have, but a lot, they're not. So all I'm saying is that let's look at what we've got and what we've got, and I'm going through those questions now, and the questions had to do with uh, a, a lot of people writing in for the same thing, but I am going to add right now one that's in the area of those um, big, uh, capital spending uh, items. In this case, it's a Titan Machinery Inc. Agri and construction equipment stores, also rental. Um, evident earnings came out today. It's down almost 8%, down 265 to 30.75. Now, look at this. If I, I show you this, this is um, Titan Machinery, T-I-T-N, trading 30.75, down 265. I had drawn this in. I hadn't actually looked at it for a little while because it was one that I discussed with subscribers as something I was looking at as uh, as a potential position. Look at this beautiful Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone right there. There it is, a little sixteenth of an inch or something. And it held beautifully when it hit that low back on at 25.78 on the 7th of March. I actually, I typed in this A and I thought, this is a nice one. This should do the same as the caterpillars, etc. But I was a little... My big thing here is to do with not the fact that they're in the right area, but to do with the supply problems and the constraints from shipping, etc. So I think that might be it, because surely Titan machinery, agri and construction equipment and stores should be soaring. It should be absolutely fantastic. So it seems to me that that could be a problem. That's the reason why I skipped it as a potential Buy, although in the 28, 29 area, it did run up to the 35s. It's now down at 30. Um, so, but that that was my concern. So, uh, now the question was, TITN, reported earnings today and gap down. What price could be an entry point? Do you think it will consolidate a while? You know, I would give it three days. I'd give it until Monday afternoon or Tuesday. Let's see if it fills some of the gap. If it goes down further, it says, uh-oh, it really is a supply issue. I don't want anything to do with it. If it holds, and the low today was right on the nine, on the 14 period moving average um, at 30.50, and it's now trading at 30.95, a little bit higher. If tomorrow it trades above Anytime between now and tomorrow, it's about 3140. And on Monday, it just kind of gaps into this 32 area to try to fill the gap. 
then let's look at it again and I'm, I'm going to say we could we could look at it as a potential for a rebound but at the same time I need to know it can survive the next two three days without having followed through to the downside so yes it's on the list and I'm going to write it down here TITN TITN big question mark uh, capital, okay let me go through this so hog question came in so what I'm, I've done now is I've looked at all that whole area of this is uh, to do with steel, iron ore, that sort of thing, agriculture, etc. I'll come back to it, but I also want to get to questions. I don't want to run out, run out of time today. Hog. This is Harley Davidson motorbikes. And what I'd said a long time, I mean, some of my subscribers know, we've been looking at Harley, Davis, Harley Davidson forever. But then I just gave up on it because they were just doing every, oh, I used to have this so beautifully notated. Look at this move from the low that was made back in, Feb in March of 2009 at 7.99 and made a peak. A, B, C, D, E. And then it starts again and it goes A, B, C, D, E. And it makes a final top at F, a double top at 73.95, 74.13. That was May of 2014 comes back does the dreaded h failure does a huge a b c d peak d again plunges and makes the huge arch formation takes it out lowercase h goes to lowercase m and then what does it do is a monthly chart it plunges back down to 10 no 14.31 14.31 after hitting the 70s 74 i think it was and then it goes to what peak a peak b peak c and d and what i say is harley davidson if they had to go electric, but they did something, if they made it so, just so fantastic looking, it has to be just a knock your socks off vehicle, electric, you could finally get a different crowd, not the Harleys that hold the, with the, with the handlebars up in the air. I must say, I've never been a Harley fan, uh, just in terms of any bike that I would have. I've never had a, a big motorbike. I've had little ones. But... Um, yeah, I um, I would go for the, the, the kind of racer ones. And uh, so the, those touring bikes, just they, that wasn't for me. But if they made it electric and they made it just so that even a person who knows nothing about motorbikes looks and says, wow, that is that is fantastic. I'd love one of those. And even if it was signed, they could make it woo 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 by electronic means. But... They would get they would get buyers. They would get people. They get a whole new crew. Anyway, enough for Harley Davidson. So all I'm saying is that it was a very quick peak A, peak B, peak C, and peak D in the daily chart, and not very much in price. And now it's back under the 200 period moving average. I think we have to wait on this. They'll get things right at some point. Maybe in another three, four weeks we'll look at it again. But this quick ABC. Uh, I heard that Tommy Jr. talking about uh, Logitech. Look, oh, there it is. Look at that very quick ABCD. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I thought we back. So a question came up about uh, ICL Group, is Israeli mineral-based uh, products uh, company. Uh, they make agri potash, agricultural potash, food, all sorts of things like that. Uh, trading at 11.72, ran up beautifully to a peak in the daily chart around about the 7th of March uh, at 12.30s, and then dropped sharply to the 10.20s, and now it's back again. They all look the same. They all look as if they're in play and that they are having this V-shaped recovery or a little bit of a lopsided one. I like it very much. I Just on a purely technical visual basis, it looks to me like it could consolidate a little bit longer. I probably, if you want, if I know you're already in it, the questioner is in it. I would add to it. On any pullback, it's at 11.72. Give me a yell when we look at it together at 11.15 to 10.95. In that area, I think we're going to look at it and see does the consolidation last a little longer? Does it now have a potential to recal recalibrate in terms of peak F and it'll change that notation uh, if it goes higher? Uh, in the weekly chart, leg D in the monthly, all of them are Ds, but if you're still desperate in the Ukraine, which is a big feeder for the world, oh, talk about, um, no, I'm not going to get into it. Tomorrow I'll talk about it. If I remember, uh, I, I want to talk about food, and I want to talk about global warming, and I want to talk about um, choices that have to be made. Sometimes they just have to be made. That's all the is to it. Uh, within that context, yeah, this is all, all in that category. So uh, now a couple of things that have come in that I'm, oh, I, I, what I was saying is that Logitech, it's funny because I had done my work on, uh, what was it, what were we looking at there? I put a line right through so now I can't even read it. Okay, uh, CMG. Uh, good grief, let me just see. Oh, oh, Harley Davidson, hog. You remember I was talking about a very quick and the Chapway methodology going in a very narrow range going from PK to PB to TC to D, all in within a couple of bars, usually you get a pullback. It doesn't say major sell, but it just says, wow, be, be ready for a quick pullback. Well, when uh, Tommy Jr., this is a great show, market kickoff, 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it also has an extra bonus besides Tommy. Kevin Hinks uh, three times a week gets interviewed. So really a very informative show. Uh, peak A, peak B, peak C from the low that was made at about 67 uh, just on the 7th of March, somewhere around there. And here we are in Logitech, and it's, it's just a very quick four piece. And all it's done is it's gone from 67 to 75, which sounds like a big number, but you used to do that in just two moves to the upside. And look at the weekly chart. So this is very important. A lot of these stocks have just been decimated, going from 140 Logitech Inc. Uh, computer peripherals, goes all the way from 140 down to uh, 67. I mean, really, cut in half, more than cut in half, and it still hasn't gone above the nine-period moving average in the weekly. It's right on it. 
Uh, that's the pink line there. So a lot of work needs to be done. Uh, a couple of questions that come. Oh, FXI. Yes, uh, GT, I'll look at FXI. FXI is, of course, the large cap. Uh, this is the large cap iShares China uh, ETF. Gone quickly from a peak A to a B to maybe a peak C today. Huge gap, 26 to 33. I mean, that's a big percentage move. Whoops. It did go from 54 down to 26. It got cut in half. So more than cut in half. So this candle here, we're going to look at very closely. This monthly chart, is this going to be a Chapman Wave Roman candle at the lows? Meaning that China, in fact, might have made a decent bottom and that it could start moving. Doesn't tell you how high, but if there is a close on a monthly basis, two out of three months above the high of this month, we don't know what the high is just yet. But if there is one, it says that means that the that the the candle not the wick but the candle low in this case it was the low of the close at 32.29 that should become major support the whole 33 to 32 area should be major support if there is a close going into april above whatever the high is based on this particular candle that'll be a, a good sign for for China, we'll see what happens. Uh, Baba, Baba is uh, um, Alibaba. Very quick, peak A, peak B, peak C, and now it's pulling back. But what a move! 73 to yesterday's high of 124. 124. That's a double. I mean, that's incredible. Oops, it went from 319 down to 73. So you see what happens when you're coming off lows. That's the reason why I try desperately for, for subscribers to try to get these major turns. People say, oh, nobody gets the turns. Well, that's not true. We've, we've got major, major turns, upside and downside. And um, uh, yeah, they can be done. What happens when you get the turn, you've got yourself a cushion because if it rallies, now that turning point, if it's taken out, it's, it's a big deal. So if, as long as it stays above it, you've got a cushion. And in this particular instance, we're looking at um, these a, a lot of stocks that have been decimated. So when the question comes in, and so I got an, a, another question that pertains exactly to what we're talking about here. Uh, hi, Basil. Are you still calling the monthly S&P a peak B? I have no choice. It is a peak B. There's just nothing else I can do about it. It might have to change somehow, some way. But it is a B. This designation has kept me and I'm sure many other long-term subscribers, listeners in the market. If you change this notation to a D, E, or F, subscribers and listeners should now be shorting the balances correct. So, you know, I don't – we're talking time frames. We're talking long-term portfolios. We're talking – I'll get into that a lot more tomorrow. In fact, oh, I lost that chart. It was there. I don't want to go back. Tomorrow I'll do. I'll, I'll show what I showed subscribers this last Saturday in my overview section uh, in the webinar. I, I'll show it to you tomorrow what I'm looking at in the monthly charts. But all I can say is if you want to go negative, I could give you negatives that you wouldn't even want to get out of bed. If you want to go positive, I can give you positives that say, are you, are you nuts? How can you even be thinking that way? But you've got to be able to see both sides of the coin and let the prices tell you. Look, I spoke about a monthly chart. I can't talk about the S&P monthly until, until we get into. <laughs> give me a break. There. Okay. Finally got uh, dollar SPX. .X. Until, look, if I talk about this monthly chart, which looks absolutely fantastic, in the monthly chart of the S&P, all of a sudden, Sunday night, there could be news. Who knows what kind of news it could be? Instead of being green, it could be red, and we're under the 42.95, 14 period exponential moving average. And I have a call. I don't want to talk about the monthly chart until it's done. All I can say is, as it stands right now, this very second at uh, 1049 on the 24th of March, uh, that's Eastern Time, with the uh, S&P up 27.94 at 4483. It looks the daily, the weekly, and the monthly have improved incredibly since the 41.14 low of the 24th of February. And that, no one thought it would be, the, I don't know about no one, not many people thought it would be this high. I like what I'm seeing, but I'm not going to make a call on a monthly chart, and I can't even do it on a weekly chart because we've still got all of today to complete, all of tomorrow. Um, 
So all I'm saying is, as it stands right now, that's what I'm looking at. Now I have to go to the GDX, see how quickly it went from PK to PP to, to leg C. This usually denotes residual strength, but not major. This is all torque based, not momentum. It's just speed. Right. It is good that the GDX is at 3905 within that back down, but it isn't showing tremendous support. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. You want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage. The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So a couple of things that I want to look at. So Bitcoin futures, someone mentioned that Dan uh, really said Bitcoin big pop. So look at this. You remember we were talking about how the very quick in the Chapman Wave methodology, a quick A to B to C to D in a narrow range usually denotes that there should be some kind of a pullback that you're kind of stuck in a range. Well, we just got that leg, leg D in the Bitcoin uh, futures. One of the reasons why I say to subscribers, I don't really want to do anything with the Bitcoin right now. It looks to me like it's in a range. And you've got to time it perfectly to be in it so that it can rally. But it also has a chance to have some big moves both up and down. So this is what I'm saying. Uh, so that was a question there. So, yeah, it is good. The 200 period moving average on Bitcoin futures is 45.56, 45,056. Right now it's trading at 43. 650 uh, until it can get above that rectangle, which is at about 44, uh, 44,350. I, I just think it's kind of stuck for now. You can see the weekly chart, same thing. LAC is a question. LAC is, um, this is the Lithium Americas Corporation. I love this, as subscribers know, we've been talking about this for some time, Lithium, but we've also had to make choices. I don't like to get overly 
uh, long in too many sectors. So this I do like it. Bounce. Look at the bounce of the 200 period moving average. This is fantastic. And now it's making uh, a recovery high, but it's going to bump into the 33, uh, 40 area. Sorry, 33. 3407 high over the 4th of January. Yes, I like it, and I am calling this a B. I could call it an E, but I think I'm going to call it a B for now in the daily. It's acting very well. Tremendous support in the 3150 to 30.80 30 uh, area. It's a 33.55. I think it's going to try to head towards the previous high. It might take a little while because it keeps pulling back sharply, but I think it's head heads towards 45.56, the high of December of last year. So I do like it. Um, and that's, oh, we're out of time. Um, okay, so there are quite a few questions. I'm going to write some of the questions down that I didn't get to. The most importantly, what we are looking at is we need to see in the Dow a move that doesn't just pop upside. I want to see 50,000 650 is like